You might think that I'm a bad boy. You might think I'm really mischievous, but it really isn't my fault. My parents started it. I'm going to tell you the story of how I uh, came to be. One day, there was a deaf woman walking down the street. At the same time, there was another person coming at her. It was a deaf guy. And they ran into each other. And they tried to apologize, and one indicated they were deaf, and the other one said, oh, I'm deaf too. Oh, love you. And they went, oh, I love you too. And uh, one thing led to another, and my mom was pregnant. And out came me. I was so cute. But they couldn't decide if I would figure out if I was deaf or hearing. And they tried yelling at me. But they still weren't sure. So then they had an idea. They put me on the floor and said, OK, you, look, you go from this direction, I'll go from this direction. And we'll both yell. And we'll see which way he looks. And I'm going like this. <laughs> so they still didn't know if I was deaf or hearing. And they said, well, he looked at me. Yeah, but you have stinky breath. Go brush your teeth. <laughs> and then he said, oh, I have another idea. I'll look this way and yell, and you look that way and yell, and we'll see what happens. So, which way did he look? I don't know, I was looking that way. Darn it. So then they came up with another idea. Another idea. They got speakers. Big speakers. And put them next to me, and I'm just sitting there, wondering what was going on. My dad said, what kind of music do you want? Should we uh, do jazz or... What kind of music do you want? What song? Any kind? Do you want to do the Satan music? Okay, we can do that. And he cranked it up, and the music came blasting at me. And my mom said, well, if he wasn't deaf before, he's deaf now. 